In this video, I'll talk about how Blender and Intel Arc works on differing distros. Everything works well on Kubuntu 24.04, though I've experienced wild variations in the rate a frame gets rendered, and I don't know why. If you do, maybe leave a comment down below. With Linux Mint 21.3 Edge, which is based on Ubuntu Jammy, it seems you still have to use the Intel repository whose directions for adding to your system is available on the dgpu-docs.intel.com site. Recently, I found that adding the 32-bit packages listed there causes you to not be able to install any other package on your system. That's a very bad thing, and because the next version of Linux Mint will be out in a month or two, I would recommend something else until the new version arrives. On Debian Bookworm, at the time I'm making this video, you have to use Debian Trixie slash testing. Then you have to pin libze from the testing repo. I've got more to say about the Intel compute packages availability in different distros in my next video. But back to Debian. I got Blender to work with Arc with the recommended packages, but I couldn't get things to render. It's also kind of a mess to try and manage what you need from the different versions, and I guess this attempt would qualify to at least some in the Debian community as making a Franken Debian. Last but not least, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. I use Yast, by the way to look for and install packages. And, well, it seems that OpenSUSE's main software repo holds practically the cutting-edge versions of all the packages you might need to use Blender and Arc. At first, it seems that with the recommended packages in the One API tab, you can't render. But right before working on this video, I decided to search for Embry packages through Yast. Embry is, from what I understand, a ray tracing library for Intel graphics devices. Using it in Blender allows you to use Arc's ray tracing silicon towards rendering. I found three packages, Embry-Devel, LibEmbry3, and Qt6 bundled Embry-Devel-Static, and I installed all three. And what do you know? I got Blender to utilize my A770 for rendering on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. That's all for this video. I hinted at my next video topic, which I think is exciting if you're using Arc for compute tasks on Linux. See you next time. Take care.